So addition muscular dystrophy is the most common uh, lethal disorder in children, and it occurs in around one to 3,500 live male births. And I think one of the um, key issues here is that despite genetic screening, that there um, are incidences where um, people can still give birth to um, boys with DMD even though they have no prior family history. So it's a disease that will remain in the population and something that we really need to address. We were looking at this protein sarcosban that's associated with the protein dystrophin. And dystrophin is actually the protein that is missing or defective in dystrophin muscular dystrophy. When the protein's missing, then the cell membranes of all muscle will become weak and the muscles will deteriorate and, and become weakened over time. We found that overexpression or increasing the amount of sarcosban expression actually can correct the cardiac problems in DMD and the fact that your cardiac function is the thing that really determines how long you can live. I think it's important if we can improve function as well as prevent damage. And so the earlier that could be done, the better for these patients. So what I've learned, I've learned that um, the cell membrane actually remodels quite a bit in um, the heart. And so even beyond just muscular dystrophy, I'm looking at how these changes occur in people with heart failure and other genetic conditions. So I'm going to basically extend the scope of what I've done and of course maintain my interest in DMD as well. I think that if I can come up with something that help extend life or improve life for children or, or anyone, I would consider myself to have actually accomplished my life mission.